Okay, here it is. I have a Dynaco 70 here. It's been completely rebuilt. It has the cast code follower system here. That's the NOS uh, USA made tubes. That's uh, a complete rebuild. It was pretty rough when I got it. Stainless steel chassis. Uh, there's the EL34s. Has the uh, cap system underneath the uh, board. On top here I have a Dynaco SCA35 and it has, I don't know if you can see this or not on camera, but I have a remote coupling caps and it has a completely redone electrolytic board. And next to it I have a bottle head, it's a sex amp, that's a experimenter's amp. I'm using it as a pre-amplifier and down here we have a Dynaco preamplifier. It's been completely rebuilt with all new equipment. Old DVD player, but yet it's a dual discrete, good unit. And on the bottom here we have a AMC CCC CCVT stereo power power amplifier. It's a 2030. And I reassigned the tubes. It has the uh, tubes that are removable and replaceable. It originally had the non-replaceable style. So let's see what we see what we have in the way of sound here. Let's take a listen. I think you'd be kind of impressed. Um, also, uh, for way of uh, speakers, we have the PA audio speakers, 12-inch drivers with the compression tweeters. Uh, also, Avids. A set of old Advents, and on top, some crappy bows, which I really don't like, but I just use them because I have them. This is basically a budget system put together with bits and pieces. Alright, let's fire it up. I promise you it's lacking nothing. It has outrageous mid-range and very deep bass and it's a very powerful system um, rivaling a lot of much more expensive systems. Well anyway there you have it.